Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com. And hopefully you recognize this image because this is what we ended up with yesterday. And here, this is the mannequin drawing or dress form that we're gonna take and dress up with some details today. And you notice this is drawn in blue pencil, so it'll be easy to distinguish my underdrawing from the HB pencil final drawing. Now, first off, I should say that this is sped up footage. This is about three times faster than I actually drew it. And it's important to know that when you're doing details, you'll oftentimes be making very slow marks. Because part of doing detail work is being very, very careful. And sometimes being very, very careful can lead to a sort of flat, boring looking drawing. And that's why we did such an active underdrawing. You notice that I had sweeping gestural marks with the blue pencil. Well, that'll help keep some life in the final image, even though some of these details that I'm doing now are with very slow mark making. So here I'm switching back and forth between my HB pencil and my eraser, and I'm really getting specific now. This is when I get really careful about those outline shapes. I wanna make sure I have interesting edges, and in this case, that I'm following the reference very carefully. But this is when you really add character to the drawing. I find this to be the fun part. But you can see that I'm not doing a whole lot of backtracking. I'm pretty much only making forward progress. And that's not just because I've been drawing for many years. What you're seeing here is the confidence that my underdrawing gave me. Essentially, I could make my mistakes and then correct them in the underdrawing stage. But now that it's all lined up correctly, I can just dress it up with details. I don't have to worry about large-scale problems at this point. I can rest assured that that's all been figured out. Now I just get to put in the cool little stuff. Because it would be reasonable to feel like this is wasting time. Why draw one entire drawing and then cover it up with a second entire drawing? Well, the first one was sort of like an insurance policy. It's going to help insure me against wasted time at this time-consuming detail phase. Because even though I'd sped up this video, I can tell you this took a while but it would have taken even longer if I was worrying about messing up my proportions the entire time. Instead, I'm just sort of trucking along, making forward progress, and working towards that final. Because doing things like this chain mail here, well, it takes a while, and it's definitely frustrating to have to erase a big chunk of it, reposition it, and then redraw it. Again, the underdrawing saves the day. Now you might notice that I'm sort of jumping around the image. I'm working on a bit here and then a bit there. Well, there's not really any method to this. It is important to work in passes so you don't get too tied into detail early on, but now we're on the detail phase. So really I can do this in any order I want to. Working in passes is done with. I've already got everything lined up. So now as I wanna work on the nose, I'll work on the nose. If I get a little bored or wanna try something different, I'll work on some of the armor somewhere else. It's this phase of the drawing that I get really relaxed. Oftentimes this is when I'll listen to music or maybe an audiobook, because what I'm doing is somewhat autopilot. I'm filling in details, but all the major problem solving has already been done. So even though this seems like really technical and really challenging work, I'd call this the easier part of the drawing. And at some point, you're going to be ready to call it done. And that's going to vary depending on what sort of project you're working on. Sometimes it needs to be really polished and sometimes not so much. But ultimately, I hope the idea of constructive form makes sense. To think first in extremely simple, extremely basic three-dimensional forms, and then dress it up with details. Because thinking this way is a great way to guarantee success and in a lot of cases, save some time. So thanks for watching, guys, and have fun with Constructive Anatomy.